how to fulfill orders for Shopify dropshipping with Zendrop. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can get started with your dropshipping business using Zendrop. So let's get into it. Now, Shopify is one of the most popular forms to begin using or creating a dropshipping brand. And uh, Shopify is a great e-commerce builder and it can really enable you to make sure that you have a very nice store. But if you're looking to add products to your store, it might be difficult to source products and then add them from your supplier to your website. And then whenever you have to fulfill those orders, you're going to have to take the orders from your Shopify store, take the order from here, copy it, send it to your supplier in another section or another website or a messaging platform and then have to wait for the supplier to confirm the order then sending a confirmation to your customer so this can take so long and you can really simplify this entire process using zendrop so zendrop is a easy to use dropshipping platform that enables you to integrate dropshipping into your business and they have a bunch of different verified suppliers or vetted suppliers that can help you in establishing a more trustworthy business at a very very low price so to get started with zendrop all you have to do is head on over to your shopify store on the bottom you're actually going to see your settings so just click on those then you're going to see your apps and sales channel so you're going to click on that once you click on your apps and sales channel you're going to click on your shopify app store on the top right once you click on that this will open up the shopify app store now from here we're going to search for zendrop and if you haven't made an account on Zendrop already, you can make it directly from here or you can head on over to new.zendrop.com and create your free account. But I'm just going to go back into my Shopify and I'm going to directly go from there and I'm going to log on to my account. So just search for Zendrop. This is the first application that shows up. So this is the one with the purple logo. You're going to click on add application. And once you click on add application, they will ask you for permission. So you're just going to click on install app and you're going to grant them access. Now, once you do that, you're going to sign up to your Zendrop account. So we're just going to add a simple password and I'm just going to click on sign up. This is using my Shopify email to create my account. If you want to create your account with a different email, then you can use your email and create your account first and then use that to log on to Zendrop on your browser. And then you can link that account to your Shopify store. But once you do that, you can see this will open up your Zendrop bar or Zendrop tab. And in this tab, you can see you will see your Shopify store linked on the top right. And if you click on it, it will open up your Shopify dashboard. Now to begin or to begin the fulfillment or adding products before you fulfill them, you have to add your product. So let's say I want to shop trends. And on Zendrop, there are a bunch of different filters you can add. So you have your find product where you can ship, for, you can choose a certain location. So if you want to establish your business in the United States and you want to offer very, very quick deliveries, then you can choose the filter ships from the United States. And this usually does yield a more expensive product range, but these products are going to arrive to your customers very, very quickly. You have a bunch of different trendy products available and you can just say, let's say we want to sell this or whatever you might want to sell you can go into their fine product section and you have multiple different categories suppliers and price ranges so if you have a certain budget in mind when setting up your dropshipping business you can select that budget let's say i don't want a product that is more expensive than 58 dollars, so i can add that filter and this will filter out the products that are going to fit within my budget so i'm just going to go into a specific category so i'm just going to search for bag and I'm going to scroll down over here. So I think I want to do the, you know, cloud bag. So I'm going to click on add to import list. Now, once the item has been added to your Zendrop import list, you can find it on the left side of your screen over here. And from here, what you can do is you have the product name and you can edit it from here. So this is the best part about using a integration like Zendrop. The way I want it to appear on my Shopify store, I'm going to edit that from here. So let's say I want this to be so let's say I want to call this bag on my Shopify store the Cloud9 Baguette bag and I can add multiple different tags. So, so let's say I have these three tags, then I can add my product type as well. 
and I can add it to a specific collection. I have a bags and wallet collection already created in my Shopify store. Now, once I have that, I can also click on the description. Now, this is the description added by the uh, original seller. You can choose to edit it. You can choose to add a couple of more lines. What I recommend is adding a very different kind of description. Instead of adding all this information in your description, you're going to add that in your product details. And then in the description, you can be like, use this trendy bag to elevate your outfits a couple of very aesthetically pleasing or uh, very marketable lines you're going to add those after that you're going to add your variants so these are all the variants that they are supplying on the on the uh, zendrop store but the zendrop supplier is providing that then you have your shipping to united states and then the sales price and then the profit so it's going to give me a 31 dollar profit but you can see i have a new versions and the chain versions so let's say i only want to sell the new versions i don't want the thick chain versions and even in the new versions let's say i only want to sell the white color the black color and the purple and green yeah so let's say i want to sell these five variants so i'm only going to add those and you can edit your sales price so if you want to increase your sales margin your profit margin you can also do that then you have your images section you can choose to remove all the colors that you're not selling so i'm not selling a bunch of the old colors so i'm just going to deselect those images from here because we are not selling these and make sure you're doing these steps because it can make your store seem pretty unprofessional if you have you know 50 different images that are not even available on your site so we're only going to make sure that the images that we are listing are the ones available so i have these three four and five and after that i'm going to just click on import to store and now this product has been imported now if i go into my shopify store over here and i go into my products i'm just going to wait for a couple of seconds for the import to be completed so i have my imported product and it's currently importing you can see it's still happening so we're just waiting for the import to be completed so now my product has been imported it took around uh, like two minutes for the product to be completely imported now depending on how many variants and how many different uh, images it has it might take longer or less time but you can see i have the uh, item added to my products list and if i click on view i can preview this in my online store this is what it's looking like we have the new green new purple new white so on and so forth and this is the basic listing now once a product is ordered so let's say we have a product like this and someone clicks on buy it now so i'm just going to continue on over here and i might have some issues with the order system but i'm going to click on checkout over here but once a product has been added how do you fulfill it that is the uh, more important part so once you get a order it's going to show up in your orders over here and you can see i have a sample order over here i already created one but you can see once the order is added you can see the payment status all of that now this will create a uh, unpaid order now once you have receiving orders from your send drop item all you have to do is you can click on your order over here and move towards fulfillment. So you can just click on fulfill item and this sends the order over to your supplier on Zendrop and then you have your payment as well. And then on the bottom, you're going to get a summary of the entire process. So that is how simple and easy it is to get started with Zendrop dropshipping and how you can fulfill your orders, add your products and uh, start your dropshipping business. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.